Andrew Brockage figured there'd be time to weigh an enormous decision, whether to transition from male to female. But as an intelligence analyst in the Army Reserves, that complicated choice had a hard deadline. A new Trump administration policy that goes into effect on Friday will require most individuals to serve in their birth gender and will largely bar transgender troops and recruits from transitioning to another sex. Exempt from the new policy are those already openly serving or those who have initiated the process and received a gender dysphoria diagnosis by the April 12th deadline. Where I initially was planning to, you know, spend several months probably you know, really just taking my time and figuring out what I wanted to do and figuring out my identity suddenly turned into this crazy race where I was missing days in a row of work and, and stressing and really just doing everything I could to get the diagnosis done in time. Andrew is not alone. A number of other transgender troops have been scrambling to get diagnosed and started on treatment by Friday so that they can remain in the military and be allowed to serve openly. For the first time. One of our national institutions will be turning back the clock on equality, and shutting its doors to people who have already proven their ability to do the job. The new rules fall short of the all-out transgender ban that was ordered by President Donald Trump on Twitter in 2017, but they still effectively reverse the efforts by President Barack Obama to end the longtime restrictions and open the military to transgender people. Supporters of the new policy, including the president, insist it will slash expensive medical costs, ensure military readiness, and cut down on the confusion of the Obama-era rules. As you know, it's been a very complicated issue for the military. It's been a very confusing issue for the military. And I think I'm doing the military a great favor. But Brockage and others take issue with the idea that transgender troops are any less capable. We are not a detriment to this nation's military. We provide the same level of skill, commitment, and dedication that any other service member provides. A sentiment backed up by some of the Pentagon's top officers last year who told Congress they've seen no discipline, morale, or readiness issues with transgender personnel. I'm not aware of any uh, issues. I am not aware of any issues in those areas. More than 14,000 troops who identify as transgender are currently estimated to be serving, either on active duty or in the reserves. But only a small fraction of them are receiving treatment, which means as of Friday, thousands will be forced to serve in their birth gender or risk discharge. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.